Welcome back to Amazing Vacation Homes. I'm here in Arizona's Sonoran Desert, one of the most biologically diverse desert ecosystems in the world. With its promise of year-round sunshine, the desert oasis of Scottsdale, Arizona has never had a problem attracting vacationers. And although the boulder-scarred landscape is undeniably beautiful to look at, you're not supposed to live in it. But tell that to Bill and Sonny Empey. Bill Empey is an award-winning nature photographer. His wife, Sonny, is a writer. They've been married for 33 years. They have nine grown children and 15 grandchildren. The couple lives most of the year in the Northwest. The Empeys have a passion for desert geology. The challenge was to create a vacation home incorporating the desert geology without disturbing the surrounding landscape. The solution? The Boulder House. This rockin' three-bedroom, 8,200-square-foot vacation home is valued at nearly $6 million. Of course, building a house out of boulders is not easy. The man stuck between a rock and a hard place was architect Charles Johnson. So let's go see how he did it. Tell me what you were going for with the entryway here. Well, it was to create a very special experience for people. It's kind of hidden, but yes. then it opens up. Great, so this is the way in. This is the way in. Okay, oh, look at that. <laughs> I love this. So. This is, it's got like an angle to it. Right, this is intended so that you feel the rock and you're walking under it like in a national park. So obviously the way in? That's the front door. Okay, I'm dying to see this. Wow, look at how that just goes right inside. And this rock continues into the house. It sure does. It's like awe-inspiring. Yeah. I love the way these stones go together with all this. It's the details that make this vacation home one of a kind. One of the largest boulders in here measures 95 feet long, 25 feet high, and 25 feet thick. Wow, I mean, this is just mind boggling. <laughs> How do you come up with a design like this, Chuck? Well, the uh, owners originally had planned to build south of the rocks, and that would have made it separate. And it would have been in visual competition with the boulders. Okay. So I sent them a sketch showing architecture radiating from the boulders. They said, you've just blown our mind. <laughs> and that was the beginning of this whole project. And this is a very interesting uh, collection of boulders. Um, Nature was my associate architect. Is there a name for that type of architecture? Uh, I think of it as organic. Oh. And I think of two aspects of organic. One is <clears throat> that it's extending nature, it's emulating nature, and the other is that it's not fixed. Okay, one of the most unique homes I have ever seen. How did you come up with this? Well, it was Johnson's idea, not ours. We like to live very closely with nature. The most important aspect of this dwelling in the desert for us was to have space, quality of space, not square footage, but quality of space. That meant no rooms, really, and there are few rooms in this house. There are few doors in this house. One space flows into another. The free flow design of the house starts in the living room with a simple stream of light. This is amazing, the light coming through here, and the light I see everywhere in the home. Tell me about this, because I've never seen anything like it. It is quite amazing. A band of sunlight continues over this boulder, and it comes to rest at a spiral petroglyph. Let me show you okay. one of our petroglyphs. Great. It's over here? Yes. And at Equinox, the light comes across the floor, up over this boulder, uh -huh. and it comes to rest at a spiral petroglyph. According to the Empeys, the petroglyph could have been made as early as 7500 B.C. by Native Americans. 
beginning here, we follow a cut right through here. Mm -hmm, I see that. Now, follow my hand, right. and you go around the outside of the spiral. And the band of sunlight stops right here at the edge of the spiral. It's like it knows where to go. It knows where to go. <laughs> That's phenomenal. Just a stone's throw from the ancient petroglyph is the slightly more modern kitchen. Now I might jokingly say I don't spend a lot of time in the kitchen. That's not my first love. I do love to cook, and uh, we eat well. It's a small kitchen. It's very compact. It works well. Uh, perhaps not so well since we now have a family of 15 in this area. The built-in cabinetry forms perfectly within the rock's contours. The extra storage makes the kitchen very self-contained. Just off the kitchen, we find the dining room. One of the requisites that we gave Chuck in the design of our dwelling was that we wanted a space, not a dining room, but a table that would encompass all of our activities. Oh, okay. And this is it. Well, you picked the right space because every view is unique and phenomenal. It is an extraordinary space. Every detail has been carefully thought out, including setting the fireplace at eye level. We wanted this designed at 32 inches. Okay. Because we can have a fire in the fireplace and we can see it. So do you even sleep with the boulders? Oh yes, there is a huge boulder in our bedroom. Really? Yes, let's go see. <laughs> can I check that out? Let's go. I want to see. The stairway that goes to the master bedroom, that's really quite an interesting space and very rhythmic in a way, the way it follows the configuration of the boulder. I guess you never get tired of this. Never. You really do have boulders up here. Look at this. Wow. That's just breathtaking. We enjoy, as this poem says, the warmth of the sun's first rays because our bed is facing to the east. So every morning we wake up to a sunrise. This is the master bath oh. and dressing area. Great. That's a great shower, and you should ask my husband because it's six feet in diameter. So the large man that he is, he can stand in the shower with his arms outstretched and have lots of space. That's a unique shower. On the surface, the Boulder House is awash with natural beauty. But for Sonny, the home's beauty radiates from within. The boulders, the stones, exude a tremendous amount of energy. I think you have to experience this space. You really do. 